Her mod is Raziel's little puppy, and every RuneScape player needs to kill a substantial amount of him to upgrade their necromancy armor, or you can just buy the 295 gear. In this video, I'll show you how to AFK this chonker, so whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. The minimum requirements to kill her mord are the completion of the Spirit of War quest after obtaining level 65 necromancy. I do however recommend that you do not start grinding her mord until at least level 80 necromancy as that's when you can get tier 80 weapon. The simple reason behind that suggestion is that her mod becomes significantly easier and lower effort to take out. The bare minimum talent tree unlocks in the Well of Souls to be following this AFK guide are Spectral Scythe Cast 2 and Spirit Pack 2. In case you've unlocked the 6th tier of the Well of Souls, having access to Scythe 3 and Spear Pack 3 is only going to make this method easier. Optionally, you can also unlock the Darkness Incantation to dodge 20% of incoming attacks. This may not be necessary though, depending on your gear. Speaking of gear, I suggest you use tier 70 Necromancy Death Dealer Robes, or better for its chance to apply Death Mark to Hormold, executing him at 20,000 life points. Now it's likely that you don't have access to this gear just yet, as it requires harmonic plates dropped by Hermold, and you're just trying to AFK straight from the get-go. Note that it's possible to do so, although you should be upgrading your necromancy gear with every harmonic plate you get. Until then, there's nothing wrong AFKing here with Death Warden tank armor or a different set of hybrid armor like Agrisa equipment. If you're looking for invention perk suggestions for your armor, having perks such as Undead Slayer in combination with the Crackling, Biting, or Invigorating perk is highly recommended. As for weapon perks, using basic perks such as Precise 6 Equilibrium 4 is going to be fine. I'll leave a link to a PVM perks page in the description down below. As for your amulet, you're going to want to be using a Salve Amulet E for Enchanted for the 20% damage and accuracy buff. Ring-wise, I'm going to suggest you have a passive Ring of Vigor and use an additional ring instead, like a Reaver's Ring or maybe even an Asylum Surgeon's Ring. If you don't have the passive Ring of Vigor from the Extinction Quest, simply wear that ring instead, because it helps with the Death Skulls ability. As for your God Book, using a Scripture when is highly recommended, although if you can't afford it, using a cheaper God Book is also an option. The cape absolutely has to be a Magic Zuck cape or the hybrid version, as we're going to be using it to reduce the drilling cost of Death Skulls, in addition to increasing the bounces and therefore the damage. I will be covering a setup later on this video that doesn't require you to have the Zuck cape. Now, since this setup tries to benefit from poison damage, you're going to want to be using a Vampire Zamora, Blood Reaver Familiar, Quorum Incense Sticks, and Weapon Poison++. Plus Plus Plus. If you have Cinder Banes, bring them because they're going to help your poison damage significantly. Inventory-wise, don't forget to bring your Overloads and Lantidime Incense Sticks to increase their duration. You also want to bring Powders of Penance for unlimited prayer when using the Soul Split Curse. Finally, Relic-wise, you're going to need to have the Persistent Rage Archaeology Relic Power, otherwise this method won't work properly and you'll have to teleport out to get Adrenaline every single kill. Other than the Persistent Rage Archaeology Relic Power, having access to Death Ward and the Conservation of Energy Relic Power is very useful. If you don't skimp out on anything just mentioned in the setup, you can enjoy fast 40 to 51 second kills at her mod without minions ever really spawning. This means, assuming you've set your instance to fastest respawn, you can get around 45 to 50 kills per hour here, which is incredibly good. Since harmonic plates are currently a 1 in 10 drop, this means you'll be seeing 4 to 5 of these plates per hour if you're going on drop rate. There will be hours where you get no plates, and there could be hours where you get 8. It depends on your RNG, and luck is luck at the end of the day. If you're wondering, you absolutely do not need to have tier 90 weapons to be AFKing her mod using this setup, as I bought a second pair of tier 80 weapons to try and test this using tier 80 weapons, and I got fairly similar kill time. If you're struggling with this setup, you could potentially use the Darkness Incantation at level 86 Necromancy to reduce incoming damage, or even play some scrolls in your Blood Reaver for healing. Although it shouldn't be necessary, but if it is, with your setup, something could change. You could be, you know, not using Cinder Banes or something, then do so. As for an alternative action bar without the Zuck Cape, if you want to try and AFK Hermod using tier 80 weapons at the very minimum, the setup is going to be virtually the same. You're still going to need to have the Persistent Rage Archaeology Relic, and you're still going to need to have the same talent tree unlocks. 
The only real big difference is that you're not using a Zuck cape and therefore the action bar is going to be different. This is the action bar I use to get around 80 second kills without a Zuck cape or about 32 kills per hour. This action bar benefits from high damage abilities like the previous one using Touch of Death and Volley of Souls while also keeping some AoE for the minion spawns, including the Blood Siphon ability. Now you're going to be encountering those minions 100% of the time, every single kill, and they will generally be killed off by the Scythe plus a little bit of a blood siphon. Very rarely will this action bar mess up where the siphon blood siphon won't be timed perfectly due to the minion spawning a little further away, causing one minion to stay alive until your scythe or blood siphon comes back off cooldown. I wouldn't worry too much, but if your health is getting too low too often, perhaps consider using the Blood Reaver Plus scrolls set to an auto fire rate of let's say 20 to 30 seconds. You can also use the Darkness Incantation to dodge some damage. I hope this short but straight to the point video helps you grind out your harmonic plates without too much effort. If it did, be sure to drop a like down below and maybe consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.